Welcome to the Parc des Ciades for the now annual Luis Figo Foundation All-Stars football match. Well, summer is almost over for World Stars. It's a pre-season stretch of the legs amongst the elite. Luis Figo has called on teammates, old friends, those holidaying and those training in the Algarve for his third All-Stars extravaganza. Multi-million pounds worth of talent on one of the stadiums used in the Euro 2004. You couldn't buy these two teams. Two former World Players of the Year, Luis Figo and Ronaldo in Figo's 11, who were playing for the Hope Project created a couple of years ago. Their aim to bring potential of youngsters through sport and work on social programs. They're playing against the Ronald McDonald House 11. The money that's raised from this fantastic football match will go to build an adjoining facility in the biggest hospital in Lisbon, a temporary residence for families of children who have serious illnesses. It'll be fun in the setting sun, raising money for excellent organisations. The two Ronaldos meeting there, the real one, and the young pretender to his crown. There's the brightest young talent in uh, Portuguese football, Moutinho. On the field at the moment, we have 22 players. We could go through about 50 names as the evening progresses. Well, let's have a look at the starting 11s. First of all, Figo's team. A few notable names in there. From Manchester United, Cleberson and Alan Smith. They're training in the Algarve, and Sir Alex has allowed both of them to play alongside Luis Figo and Ronaldo. Mark Fish of Charlton Athletic with the central defender alongside Fernando Couto of Lazio. Well, the Ronald McDonald House 11 includes the other Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, national hero in these parts. Alongside his Manchester United teammate, who knows, Kieran Richardson, England star of the summer after his two goals against the United States. Jermaine Defoe of Tottenham will learn from Pedrag Miatovic, the former Real Madrid player. One of the greats is turning out tonight. So Bobby Robson returns to Portugal. Of course, he was the manager of Sporting Lisbon and of Porto and managed Luis Figo, his old friend, at Barcelona. <laughs> They've had to reinforce the substitutes bench. It's almost a stand in itself. Carlos Queiroz, who's a national hero after uh, twice winning the World Youth Championship, also returns home. Will be one of two coaches of Figo's 11 alongside Humberto Coelho, the former Porto manager. The man in charge, Pedro Enrique. Well, the sun is setting on the Algarve, and the stars have come out to shine. It'll be gently paced, but a good opportunity for many of these uh, players to play their way to fitness. No longer do they run at the sand dunes at nearby Faro or Villa Mora to get fit. They come out, have a stretch of the leg amongst friends, and then they'll be joining their teams for what uh, promises to be a long, arduous season for many of these superstars. And maybe for one or two as well, an opportunity to impress as they look for new clubs uh, in the summer. It's Fernando Couto giving the ball away. We could have goals galore, and we could see tricks galore as well. It could be like an addition of the magic circle tonight. There's Luis Figo, the national uh, hero around these parts, the man who's put this game together. It is great when you have Cristiano Ronaldo on one side and 
Ronaldo of Real Madrid on the other side. Uh, they may be showing us one or two things you normally only see in their sponsors' commercials. to get as many fans in as they can uh, play the game when uh, the other attractions have maybe faded away. It's peak season in the Algarve. Families beginning to holiday uh, down in southern Portugal. And of course, uh, many, many footballers have their private villas littered along the coast near the uh, various golf courses. In fact, uh, many of the players have participated in a game of golf today at uh, Villamora, all in aid of the charities being supported. Here is Luis Figo, how many goals he's going to get tonight? Flicks it into the far post. Who will be supplying crosses for next season? Already Manchester United and Liverpool and a uh, host of clubs have been linked with Luis Figo, who's no one longer wanted by Real Madrid. For the last time he plays in the same all-white strip, with the great Ronaldo. Here's Kieran Richardson, number 22. Not too many people would have known his name uh, last year. But uh, after his two goals, Richardson's a headline grabber. He was the hit of uh, the summer. Al Maktoum has uh, come on, who's uh, one of the invited guests. It's from uh, the Far East, aiming, I'm told, to set up his own Formula One racing team. Well, we had Michael Schumacher make a brief appearance last year, and I'm sure that uh, he's made a tidy donation to rub shoulders and swap shirts with the likes of Ronaldo and Figo. kind of Sir Alex Ferguson to allow Alan Smith here on the ball and Cleberson to uh, play tonight. Also Darren Fletcher was a late addition when one of uh, Figo's invited guests uh, pulled out of the match and uh, he'll get a chance to rub shoulders later in the evening. Here is Alan Smith, a long season for him and a very short summer break as well. He was away with England in the United States. Hello Negro of Lazio. Abel's cross. Away is the cry from the goalkeeper. It finished 5-5 a couple of years ago. They were trying to chip goalkeepers, put it through their legs. You know, the kind of thing they reserve for these testimonial type matches. You see Ronaldo of Real Madrid looking a little trimmer down there. He comes back a little heavy uh, after a long stretch in the sun, but uh, Brazil have been playing in the Confederations Cup, and he's only had a couple of weeks rest. Very kindly agreed to uh, come to Portugal, as we've seen Mark Fish of Charlton for the first trick of the evening. Figo. Slip by Abel Xavier. Easy to spot. Five minutes gone, we don't have a goal yet. <laughs> Goalkeeper is Morgan de Sanctis of Udinese. They had a great season, the surprise team, finishing in the top five of Serie A in Italy last season. So, uh, many of uh, the players have been sold on around Europe. That's uh, maybe the cost of their success. to Figo. Cleverson. Figo 
Again, and that's a great cross in, and uh, it hits Ronaldo and goes in for the goal. And Luis Figo's 11 have taken the lead. It's a good cross, and uh, Ronaldo doing what comes naturally. Some said he had a bad season last year. Still managed uh, 25 goals, and a number for uh, Brazil as well. And he's got off the mark, if you can uh, call it this season already. Reuniting with. Uh, so Bobby Robson, who managed him in Holland and managed him for his one season at Barcelona. FLF1, that's the Figo Foundation. The 11 against the firm, the Ronald McDonald House 11. Here is Kieran Richardson of England. That's a good tackle by uh, his Manchester United teammate, Alan Smith. Here is Figo. This could well be his pre-season training. He doesn't quite know where he's heading next. Available on a free, Real Madrid have written off the £37 million pounds they spent on him. If somebody can find uh, the money to pay his wages, he's for hire. The left wing there is Nano, uh, the former Barcelona player. He was kind of an apprentice to Luis Figo at the Camp Nou. He was the youngest ever debutant for Barcelona at the age of 17 years and four months, now plays for Atletico Madrid. Gently paced to me and you after uh, the excesses of La Liga and Serie A and the Champions League and the English Premier League. You can see it's uh, about 25 degrees centre stage. Stadium holds around 40,000. They're expecting a turnout of about 25,000 here tonight. There's Darren Fletcher of Manchester United's. Sitting next to very relaxed looking Sir Bobby Robson. Richardson, and it's left to the goalkeeper Ricardo. Sporting Lisbon stopper. And who uh, I'm sure you won't want reminding scored a goal from the penalty spot against England in 2004 and took his gloves off to save the penalty of Darius Vassell. looking for his uh, World Cup winning teammate Ronaldo <laughs> and the guard to Jose Gomez of Rio Ave you can tell from the step over that's Cristiano Ronaldo and for Jermaine Defoe great opportunity for the young England striker to mix with some of the world's best Fantastical little flick at the goalkeeper's lost it. And is that Maradona playing down there? And it's the former French striker Shota Arvaladze who, rather than using his head, appeared to use his hand. The hand of Shota. That's not the kind of cross that Sir Alex Ferguson encouraged at Manchester United when Kieran Richardson was. Uh, there. We've seen all of his tricks before. Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> They've invented a few for this season. Jermaine Defoe. See opened up for him then, and he went for the fanciful little flip, but he's trying to beat one of the best goalkeepers in Europe in uh, 
Ricardo Pereira, who is one of many Arsenal have been interested in. Had a great season, of course, for Tottenham last year. 22 goals. Finally realising his potential. Fernando Couto. Miguelito. It's an autograph hunter's paradise. Abel's cross. Out by Van de Gaag. This is Palo Negro to Lucas Radaby. He was retired last season. Only managed 47 minutes of football, beset by injuries, but a great ambassador for South Africa. He's one of the uh, first African players to ply his trade in top-level English football. And he himself, like Luis Figo, has done an awful lot of fantastic work for charity. <laughs> Last year, Luis Figo and his associates managed to raise about a quarter of a million euros. He's hoping to top that this year. Good to see Sir Bobby so relaxed. Of course, last year he had the stresses at the start of the season of trying to manage Newcastle United, and it's uh, a very rare summer for him. Approaching August without a team to manage. It would have been his 36th season. As a boss, if only he could find a club. And he still wants one, you know. Alan Smith. Ronaldo. Al Maktoum. <laughs> well, last year there was a, a shortage of players for Figo to call upon because of uh, Euro 2004. So, so Bobby Charlton came and uh, he did once vow he'd never play football again, but he had a stretch of the legs for a good cause, as did Michael Schumacher, and Gaza was one of the central attractions. This year they've gone for youth. Kieran Richardson and Alan Smith. Is uh, Jermaine Defoe and a wonderful save from Ricardo. He's turning into a personal duel between the two of them. Defoe and the old foe of England, Ricardo. It's a bit flashy, but he's a brilliant goalkeeper. Richardson. They've scored two goals for uh, England, but he also managed uh, half a dozen for West Brom and also scored for Manchester United last year against Crystal Palace. Figo. Little shake of the hips. Ronaldo. Little flick over the top. Here's Ronaldo looking for his second. <laughs> Denied it. There's a look at uh, you saw Borja there, the number 17, who's his uh, Real Madrid teammate. And he was offside. The officials will not be showing any charity tonight. Cristiano Ronaldo mesmerizes Abel Xavier. Looking for oh, Jestrovic, I think he was, who had the shot. No, Miatovic, sorry. The old Real Madrid and Yugoslav international striker.
17 minutes is all that Pedrag uh, Miatovic can manage these days. And uh, Darren Fletcher will continue his pre-season in uh, the fun and sun of uh, the Algarve. So Bobby Robson calling on his old friend Sir Alex Ferguson to loan a player or two for this uh, game and a good cause. One Sir Bob is raising money at Live 8, and the other Sir Bob is raising money at the Algarve Stadium. Who's almost fouled. I suppose the one player who's allowed to tackle him hard is Alan Smith, but there might be a, a little bit of uh, an edge there because uh, I suppose effectively they're fighting for a similar place in the Manchester United team. Ronaldo, step over. Now passes on the responsibility to Nano. Atletico Madrid man tries to find the Real Madrid man, and he did as well. Richardson. Well, these players happy to be here, of course, elsewhere in Europe. Uh, it's the Intertoto Cup today. Some teams have already been back a couple of weeks. Many of these players will be rejoining their teams in the next seven days. There's Ronaldo to Jermaine Defoe. Corner for the Ronald McDonald House 11. Saw a shot there of Lucas Radipi, he must be really happy, he's retired and yeah, he's keeping fit, but tonight he's given the job of marking Ronaldo. Drag Miatovic, who was once the uh, top scorer in Spanish football, has a Champions League medal and a Championship medal from his time at Real Madrid. What happened? And Smith. Nano. It's one of the more energetic performances I've seen from Ronaldo in the last 12 months. Xavier, Cristiano Ronaldo. Gets, uh, the fans are very excited when he gets the ball. Avalanti, the former Rangers man, tries to tear it up. He's just signed for AZ Alkmaar, and that was a handball by Real Madrid's Borja. Darren Fletcher may argue, actually. It's Darren Fletcher who was alleged to have handled the ball. Figo. Oh, the committed Italian goalkeeper, Morgan De Sanctis. Doesn't want to embarrass himself. Lost his footing. Well, it's a top class surface. It was used for the uh, European Championship quarter finals last summer. It's a charity game and they say it's friendly, but I know from uh, experience that when you get any footballers together, nobody wants to lose, everybody wants to win, everybody wants to score that fanciful goal and excite the fans, especially this man, twice World Player of the Year, Ronaldo. Abel Ferreira. Plays for Sporting Braga. Now to the national hero, Luis Figo, just come out of international retirement. Played a couple of games for Portugal again. He's always seen eye to eye with Philippe Scolari, the new national coach. Hey, 
Nano. Easily recognisable Alan Smith. And it takes a deflection. <laughs> and, uh, there's an entertaining goalkeeper, Morgan De Sanctis. Italian standards is quite young, he's only 25 uh, years of age, played for Italy in the Olympic Games in 2000. Fletcher to Richardson. The 20 year old has that little. Uh, Confident stride. Now, we've known about his abilities at Old Trafford for a long, long time. They managed to persuade him to move north. He was initially on the books of West Ham United. Loaned out by Sir Alex to his old captain, Marvel Bobby Robson, last year. And Richardson's uh, Marvels are one of the reasons that West Brom stayed up to fight in a good fight. Figo. Lucky to see an awful lot of La Liga last year. Though Real Madrid had a terrible season, dipping below their exceptional standards. Luis Figo was the one player who did seem to roll his sleeves up and dig in and give the effort. And of course, at the end of the season, he fell out with the coach and faded from view. Abel Xavier will be a corner to the McDonald House 11. by Cristiano Ronaldo. What a shot, and another good block by the overworked Ricardo. He is a highly popular figure in this country. He was part of the Boa Vista team, a tiny little club that managed to get to the semi-finals of the UEFA Cup two years ago. And then uh, when a number of English clubs were looking at him, he signed for Sporting Lisbon. Peter Schmeichel, of course, used to keep goal. And he's right up there with Figo and Cristiano Ronaldo as uh, the most popular player in the country. Figo working through the gears. Another bad shot, sir. Uh, the turn from this is Rissas. I suppose with this game going to all corners of the world, it's a great showcase. But Luis Figo has had a number of offers from a number of countries, hasn't yet decided where his future does lie. Can reveal a couple of years ago, I interviewed him, and uh, he is. A fan of Liverpool. Watch that space. It's a lovely ball. And here is Ronaldo with a goalkeeper caught in no man's land. It's just a question of how he scores. It's like picking cherries for the great man. A wonderful ball it was, and he had a million different options for man of his talents. The double shuffle mesmerized the goalkeeper, and he meant to get it in from the post. Watch the ball, don't watch the feet. Still at the peak of his powers, Ronaldo seems to have been around so long. 28 years of age now. Two nil to Figo's 11. Two goals from Ronaldo. Figo, the brains behind the football operation and the charity money-raising operation. 
Cleverson. Ronaldo. Kieran Richardson just runs out of ground. A great weekend of Speedway. On Saturday, live from the Czech Republic round six of the Grand Prix. Then on Sunday, see Britain's finest lineup for the Championship of Great Britain. A Speedway double sponsored by Skybet starts Saturday at six, Sky Sports 3. Nobody likes doing chores. But file your tax return by September the 30th. And the revenue and customs people will do the tax calculation for you. So you're free to do something more exciting. Self-assessment. Tax doesn't have to be taxing. The drama continues this weekend live on Sky Sports, sponsored by Stan James. And Alex has moved down that left hand side, but to pass of Miguelito, the Brazilian fullback who Plays for Nacional, he applies trade in Portugal for Rio Ave. A friend of Figo is invited to play tonight. Fletcher. Palo Negro. Fletcher wants the... Uh, is the youngest man to captain Scotland, playing it to Cristiano Ronaldo. Abel Xavier. Wants of Everton and Liverpool to Borja. Negro. What an instinct of an Italian fall back to cross the halfway line as Fletcher takes the dew off the top of the grass. It's a tidy game, Ricardo. Ronaldo. Borja. Fletcher. Very wise of Sir Alex to allow his 20-something uh, players to participate tonight, giving them a day off from their pre-season regime in their training camp down uh, here in the Algarve. Of course, it's been in the news this week that the Glazer family members have uh, been in uh, southern Portugal to meet Sir Alex and the Manchester United officials. Luis Figo goes through Radaby, and it may be his party. But the Saints is wanting to let him score. <laughs> well, a change of goalkeeper, the uh, standing applause for Ricardo. And he is replaced by Bruno Valle plays for Amadora and has been on the verge of the national team. <laughs> Nano goes off and uh, Neca, who plays for Guimares, a promising young Portuguese player, comes on. Alan Smith has been given uh, 
enough opportunity tonight and he's also going to get a break and he's going to be replaced by Jose Pedro of Belenenses. <laughs> I hope you're taking note of this, it's like a shopping list isn't it? Abel Ferreira of Braga is coming off. And uh, our neck up if Guimaraes comes on. Today, in the moment, we've just had eight changes. <laughs> the fourth official has got the high blood pressure. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Can't get around old Paolo Negro. And <laughs> great skill. And Borja. Expect to see a lot of him. He's uh, destined for great things at Real Madrid this season. The time for change, Cristiano Ronaldo has had 30 minutes, those are probably the instructions from Sir Alex, entertain the fans, hasn't got a goal, but a good opportunity to shake off the uh, summer cobwebs, man, he didn't get any because he uh, was playing for Portugal and scored the winning goal recently, but uh, he's given a break, on comes Manuel Jose, and also coming on is Alfonso, the former Real Betis and Real Madrid striker. And we have a change of goalkeepers as well. Marco Fortin of Siena replaces the other Italian shot stopper, Morgan De Sanctis. Beaten twice by Ronaldo. Richardson. Don't know where the FIFA regulations have gone because I have a list of 60 potential players that could be uh, starring tonight. Who knows? If you're on holiday in the Algarve, one of your whitewashed footballing villas, you may get a game of football for Figo. The great and the good and the mightily talented are here tonight. Galito, Kuto. Abel Xavier, who's uh, played in virtually every European league for much longer than a season at most clubs, played in Spain and played in Italy. Moved across Stanley Park from Everton to Liverpool and then had a fallout with... Uh, Gerard Houllier. Here's Jermaine Defoe. Going toe to toe with Fernando Couto. Richardson's cross. The battle in normal circumstances. Couto. 99 is Alfredo Estevez. There is Xiao Necker. He's uh, played many big clubs have been interested in the uh, extravagant blonde haired midfield player. <laughs> Interesting. Ball keeping from uh, Ricardo's replacement. Xavier. To Fletcher. It's played by Cristiano Ronaldo and Figo. He shows us his array of tricks. And uh, the referee doesn't give a penalty, despite some pleas from the fans. Handball from Figo, but he'll get away with it. Ronaldo may well get a break in a moment when he scored his hat trick goal. 
Necker. Ronaldo. Necker. It's a great mixture of the likes of Figo and Ronaldo. Those at the peak of their powers, an opportunity for the youngsters like Fletcher and Defoe and Richardson. And a number of top young Portuguese talents as well. It's all rub shoulders tonight. Kieran Richardson. Here's Alfonso Perez. Almost scores by default. Ronaldo. Neca makes his move. Ronaldo Prudence attempted to be prudent with this pass. Alfonso Perez comes from a downtown district in uh, Madrid, eventually played for Real Madrid. A little Hatafi named their stadium after him. Little did they know that uh, they would want to get promoted, live the dream, and he would play at the stadium named after him. There he is again, throwing himself in, still for hire. Had a favourite Real Betis last season and uh, He'll score goals for somebody. Oh, curled away. I wonder if Callas Kirath and Sir Bobby Robson have worked on set pieces for this game. Valley rolls the ball. <laughs> As goalkeeping Harry Carey in his uh, court off his line. <laughs> Alfonso uh, is now 33 years of age. He only played a handful of games last year after a nasty knee injury, which required an operation. But just way back to fitness. Then got in the Real Betis team at the end of the season. Figo beats Abel Xavier, but he's blocked. Paul Hammer runs into trouble. Here's Xavier again. We didn't get many minutes at the end of last season, Luis Figo, so he's using the opportunity to work on his fitness. If there are interesting scouts in the stands, it would be a popular destination, wouldn't it, to tell your manager you're going to have a look at a few potential signings and a couple of days in the Algarve. Estevez. Neca gives it away. Borja. Now Kieran Richardson. This could be his uh, last contribution to the game. The valet plays sweeper keeper, gets his places in a bit of a tangle. At the moment, I think we're going to see Jermaine Pennant of Birmingham City. He's down on the touchline, preparing to come on. Richardson lets it go to Defoe. Defoe again. Always looking to score. Big money signing for Tottenham Hotspur, £7 million. Pounds. Still remember, only 22 years of age. In the business for the England under-21s and uh, had a great season, though he's still on the learning curve for Tottenham Hotspur. Can't wipe the smile off the face of Kieran Richardson at the moment after a summer he's never going to forget. 
Yet another one of uh, England's young stars, Jermaine Pennant, hoping for a good clear run this season. Comes on. Jermaine Pennant, uh, I'm not exactly sure how he managed to play in the game. He may have been holidaying down here. It's a Defoe. That's the bar. Valley didn't see it, he only heard it. And some are having fun. He means business. Jermaine Pennant may well have been holidaying down here because uh, he's got his boots, but he's had to borrow the shin pads of Kieran Richardson. A bit too big for him, they look like cricket pads. Here's Alfonso. He won't pass unless he really has to. <laughs> A real goal getter. Is it worth leaving the beach for? They think so. Necker. To Fernando Couto. Lazio. Risas, the Greek international, is uh, led out by Ossiano. Jose Pedro, Luis Figo, Neca, Alfonso Perez, Fletcher, you can see the intention. Goalkeeping shirt you want to be uh, wearing in these sweltering conditions. Ricardo, his predecessor, cut the uh, sleeves off. The shirts, by the way, after the game are going to be auctioned off with all of the money going to the Hope Project of Luis Figo and to the uh, fund to build the Ronald McDonald House in the capital, Lisbon, next to uh, the Estefana Hospital, the biggest hospital in the country. I do know from experience uh, what a wonderful job they do at uh, Ronald McDonald House is giving temporary residence to families who have children with uh, serious illnesses. They can make a donation or they can stay for free. It's uh, right on site next to the hospital. means you don't have to uh, stay at a costly hotel and you can be close by your children times money going to a good home let's hope that they raise an awful lot tonight we get a few more goals as well as Manchester United's Darren Fletcher tries to create something here and uh, maybe just enough time to squeeze in this corner kick to meet Pennant Fletcher that's cross and that's Shano for Figo's 11 There is the great man. The European and World Player of the Year. Tiptoes through the obstacles. This is Frizas, the Greek international, played for Celta Vigo last year in uh, the second division of Spain. A terrible pass by Oceano. Fernando Couto, half-time whistle goes, it's been entertaining, referee hasn't been troubled too much, great sportsmanship, fine skills, 
one or two uh, players showing off as well, especially Ronaldo, who scored the two goals in the first half. Uh, this game raising money for a couple of fine charities. He may well stay on for his hat-trick. We'll find out after the break. Half-time at the Parc de Ciedad is the Luis Figo 11-2. Ronald McDonald House 11-0. As we see one of the Ronaldo goals. We hope for more. Join us for the second half. Welcome back to the Parc das Cidades in the Algarve. I was going to say the night of a thousand stars, well, it feels that way. About 50 of them have congregated, led by Sir Bobby Robson in one corner and Carlos Queiroz in the other corner, all in aid of charity. The annual. Luis Figo Foundation charity match. Seen some wonderful tricks tonight. A couple of goals from Ronaldo. He's one of those who's sadly taken a break for the second half, but some familiar faces. And one or two surprise additions as well as Figo and friends aim to entertain us. As Figo side leading 2 0. Some may say, well, it doesn't matter about the score, but try telling that to professional footballers, many of whom are at there peak of their powers. One player who has stayed on despite the 16 changes we've had in the game is Luis Figo. The interesting part is watching out there. He's been in good form. <laughs> he is, of course, a available for hire. There's Alfonso Perez for the Ronald McDonald House 11 to Francisco Fran. The uh, former captain of Deportivo La Coruña. Spanish international as well. We have over a thousand caps amongst the players who've agreed to participate here tonight. Here's Webo, the Cameroon star. To Figo. Number Sir Alex Ferguson has. Uh, Lent Carlos Kiroff and uh, Sir Bobby Robson, a number of his Manchester United players tonight. We've seen Alan Smith, we've seen Cristiano Ronaldo dazzle in the first half. Also, Kieran Richardson got a run out. Jermaine Defoe is one of those uh, English Premiership players who's been given a break in the second half, but Jermaine Pennant remains out there somewhere. Alfonso. Little slip on what uh, is a perfect pitch. So it's how the goalkeeper mistimes his clearance. He's uh, the backup at Real Madrid. Former teammate, uh, simply say that now, of Luis Figo. And he played in the Champions League final when it uh, was played up in Glasgow. Here's Jaumina. Watch out for the peroxide striker as. Uh, it's too good to retrieve for Alfonso Perez, who's offside. And he was second only to Ronaldo a few years ago. Now, you may think you recognise him. Hair not quite as big as it used to be. The beard might be a giveaway. Alexis Lalas, possibly United States' most famous outfield player. Star of the World Cup of 94, who's travelled over from North America to play tonight. He's got a new job last week. He's just been made the president of the New York, New Jersey Metro Stars in the American Professional Soccer League. No longer plays, he's now the governor. Here is Weber. This uh, lent an arm on the shoulder. Yeah, Webo is one of the Cameroon international stars. You see Jeremy in there as well, who also plays for Cameroon and Chelsea. Blocked by uh, the 15 for the Ronald McDonald team, who's held that. Played, of course, at uh, Newcastle United, now at Paris Saint Germain. The 
was a cool breeze. The players were welcome that it started in uh, red hot sunshine. He got to Weber, but he goes run out of steam. Number 14, the Italian goalkeeper starts a move here for the uh, McDonald House 11. Francisco Fran. Everybody wanted to do their party piece tonight. Paolo Adriano plays for Academica, looking for Jeremy. As you see, Jeremy. <laughs> He's a fiery talent, never quite realised his uh, immense potential because he tended to fall out with coaches at the top clubs. Offside. It's been a good-natured game. And the referee has made sure that it's been played strictly to uh, the letter of the law. Jalmina. Wonderful ball. Alfonso. In the way is Alexi Lalas. This game is being shown in uh, over a dozen countries in all continents. And about 20 countries represented as uh, the Real Madrid goalkeeper, Tatar. Looks the ball over the top. They run out of goalkeeping kits, that's why he's wearing the white shorts and the white socks. Alfonso, oh, some shot. A couple of years ago, this was 5-5, but uh, maybe it wasn't quite as serious as tonight's game. Lalas. Jeremy. To his old Real Madrid teammates, Luis Figo, won the league and the Champions League together. Luis Figo. Jeremy. Yeah. Jermaine Pennant. Big learning experience for the Birmingham City winger. It's a lovely ball as well from Bennett, looking for Alfonso, but he was offside again. Maybe just Alfonso Perez in the middle. Not the man who received the ball. Not a healthy crowd of uh, broken free from a holiday weekend on the Algarve to come to this wonderful modern stadium put for the European Championships last year. It's uh, based on a sailing ship overlooking the sea on the southern coast of Portugal in Faro. It's Nenad Jestrovic you saw there who plays for Anderlecht, top scorer in Belgium last year. One of those young players seeking a move to the English Premiership. Well done. Came back for his uh, Cameroon international teammate. Jeremy rarely scores a goal. Will tonight be the night? Control and the uh, maximal shot on the turn from uh, Jose Pedro. Teams have been pretty well balanced. Carlos Kerroth and Bobby Robson have done a good job in shuffling the players around and making sure that the multitude of uh, substitutes put round pegs in round holes as the American Alexis Lalas into the Metro Stars to Figo. 
to Jeremy. Just to work together on the right hand side of the Real Madrid midfield. Francisco Fran, over 650 games in the Spanish First Division. He was the most uh, active player over the last decade in Spain. Lifted the Copa del Rey, they beat Real Madrid to spoil their centenary celebrations a couple of years ago. France cross. Kind of a Kevin Sheedy type of player. Magic wand of a left foot. Football has been reasonably sharp and pretty committed, but the fans with 10 minutes gone in the second half would like a goal or two more. Well, Jose. Adriano. Wasted pass. Yeah, rare to see Ronaldo without a smile on his face. Alongside Carlos Kirov. He's a boss, of course, for one season, sadly, one season only. So the Estadio Bernabeu in Madrid. Carlos Kirov now, of course, lieutenant to Sir Alex Ferguson. City United do an awful lot of work for the charity UNICEF and uh, they are an associate of the Luis Figo Foundation. Uh, hopefully a quarter of a million euros will be heading after tonight's uh, festivities and the golf day and the charity auction. It's wonderful to see a top-class player become a top-class player like a person like Luis Figo. He'll do his bits for the Portuguese society. Well, there's going to be a change. And this will be a popular one. Luis Figo has played for almost an hour. And he will undoubtedly get a standing ovation. Certain of his future, but making sure the future of a number of deprived children is going to be secure. Good man doing his bit for his country, and also getting some valuable playing time. Now he can go back to negotiating a team for next season. He's had to draw with a lot of his former teammates and associates. Still got it. Say from Marco Fortin, the, uh, the Juventus goalkeeper. Says that. of games mainly in the Spanish Cup last year, Cesar has been able to uh, wrestle the number one position away from Ike Casillas at Real Madrid. Right, who next is like uh, trying bingo balls for Carlos Kirov as he, I think now has made uh, 14 changes. Lalas. Figo's 11 without Figo now, it's more like Figo's 32. World Cup squads aren't as big as this, as Cesar plays sweeper goalkeeper. Is it Pedro? Time to getting restless, we need a goal. Can Fran cook up? Pennant. 
tees one up. Audrey goalkeeper cuts it out and starts a move for the Figo 11. Now Weddle. Well, those up and Adam players, he'll go direct to goal. Plays for uh, Osasuna in La Liga. Oh, good save. Very good save to keep out Josia Pedro of Belenenses. Carlos Queiroz taking a break from uh, directing the Manchester United players at their training camp down here on the Algarve to lead uh, Figo's stars tonight. Alexi Lalas. It's not bad, is it? He maybe uh, is better known for his wonderful summer with the United States national team, but he became the first American to play in Serie A. Alexis Lalas. Pennant. Good cross. Rosa. Jeremy. Debert. Oh, good ball through. Does the goalkeeper come or does he stay? He was brave, he was committed. He wasn't going to be beaten. Well for Jose Pedro. It's a good block by Marco Fortin. Defence has gone AWOL. Well, Alfonso get his goal. He tried to do Ronaldo and step over it. But he's up. Uh, it's an old enemy in uh, Cesar. Now Jalmina. A trick can he show us? Real showman. Looks one way, plays it the other. She being pennant to take back to St Andrews next season. And between them they've created a goal. The scorer, Leonard Jestrovic. The Yugoslav international. who scored goals of fun for Anderlecht last year. So in the programme before the game, his big aim is uh, to play in the English Premier League. Uh, take note, a few managers, and that's how to finish. Create a pennant, scorer Jestrovic. So 2-1 to the uh, Figo 11, Jesterovic scoring for the house of McDonald's, I suppose you could say that uh, Sir Alex and the boys are playing for the house of the Glazers at the moment. And that's more like a mansion. And then a couple of more changes for the Ronald McDonald 11. On has come the former Tottenham player Milenko Asimovic. And to the goalkeeper, the Cameroon international, Hamidou, who plays in uh, the Turkish first division for Densley Sport. training at uh, Real Madrid's training ground and he goes along the line and signs the autograph and he's photo taken with every single young supporter. And you figure it's a pretty short name to sign. What a wonderful job he's doing 
it's becoming a bit of a trend and a bit of a fashion for the top players to uh, take their break for charity. And as we mentioned before, the Hope Project helps youngsters to realise their potential through sports. It's a social programme that takes on some of the kids from the most deprived areas of Portugal and gives them a purpose. The foundation was set up a couple of years ago in association with uh, UNICEF. Figo's not only given his name to but also sets the values and what he expects to get out of the foundation and where every single euro is spent. <laughs> and the field of play. Donald's 11 seek another goal. They take anything, the bandages, the socks. Take those out to Mama. She washes them first before they're framed and stuck in the bedroom wall. And we do the Cameroon international goalkeeper. One of those at the peak of his powers is Francisco Fran. Maybe uh, his best years are just behind him, but looking for a club this season. Puts in a good cross. Jermaine Pennant. wise of the Premiership managers to allow their young players to benefit from the experience of uh, sharing a changing room with Ronaldo and Figo and Couto tonight. Jeremy of the English champions Chelsea. Jalmina. Chestrovich Fran offside it may be a charity game and full of sportsmanship but he'll still moan and groan and snarl at the officials Rebel Jeremy a good cross, but uh, fine. Goalkeeping from Hamidou. The build of a heavyweight boxer and the presence in the goal area as well. Fran. Puts it back. And uh, Lalas steals the ball, but Jestrovic again to Fran. It should be 2-2, two -two. deflects for a corner. He so dearly wants to score, doesn't he? Then Adjestovic. Anything for a penalty as well. Maybe a decade ago, the players, when they uh, returned for pre-season, would be running up and down the sand hills. The coaches would work them till they drop in an intense 10-day period. But the trend these days is uh, for the players to come back and to uh, do a lot of work with the football, drip feed their conditioning, and to play games early in the programme. And uh, this will be worked into the programme of many of the players out there tonight. So in the Manchester United contingent, here's Jaumina, one of a handful looking for a prospective new employer. It was John Toshak's first signing at Deportivo La Coruna. Jaumina and Toshak is one of the few managers who uh, was able to harness his abilities when Toshak went. Uh, Jaumina famously had a fight with one of his teammates uh, in the centre of the pitch and was farmed out to Vienna in Austria to pursue his career. Goes again, the uh, Brazilian Gaza. <laughs> Jestovic. The 
Portuguese starting a Mexican wave. Simovic, the former Tottenham man. To Defoe, to Jalmina, to Asimovic. The Slovenian who's now playing for Lille in the French first division. Gentle wave around the stadium, like those lapping on the shores of the Algarve. Could cast one of the uh, fishermen's nets on this uh, part of Europe any time during June or early July and catch yourself a dozen international footballers. Very popular place for them to disappear to in the off season. And many have left their swimming pools and families behind to come and uh, have a stretch of the legs tonight. The Premier League is back on Sky Sports. Fantastic football all round. Ready. Go. 88 live matches from the Premiership, plus the Football League. Now I ain't too big and I ain't too tall, but for car insurance, give Sainsbury's a call. I could save you money, get your premiums down by as much as £180. Little Bill. Little Bill. Little Bill. Little Tiny Bill. Apply online or call Sainsbury's Car Insurance for your little bill. Travelex hate to be beaten too. We'll refund the difference if anyone beats our online foreign currency deals. This is me, Tom, and my twin brother, Jack. We're identically forgetful, which causes identical damage. We're both covered by major insurers, but that's where the similarity ends. Jack had to find and arrange all his own workmen. How much? And pay them himself before claiming his money back later. Whereas I'm with Direct Line. They took care of everything, from finding all the right workmen to paying them directly. And really I saved 20% on my home insurance. To get a 20% introductory discount on your home insurance, just call 0845 246 1246. Direct line. As an Olympic athlete, I know the value of staying healthy and how expensive everyday health care can be. Visits to the dentist, trips to the opticians, it all adds up. With HSA, the whole family can get cash for 14 different everyday treatments from the equivalent of just £2.20 a week. We're covered for over £1,400 from HSA for things like physiotherapy. We get £420 for new glasses and lenses. We get £480 to look after our teeth. After I spent a week in hospital, HSA gave me £336. Joining HSA is simple. There's no medical required. You can even claim straight away. And you get payment within just a few days. Thank you. For more information or to join HSA, call me now on 0800 08 54321. Join HSA and get £15 worth of Marks and Spencer's vouchers absolutely free. In the future, everyone will protect their eyes from sun damage just like they protect their skin. Transitions lenses block harmful UV rays and automatically shield your eyes from glare by adjusting to changing light. So don't wait until tomorrow. The danger is here today. And so is the protection. Ask your optician about Transitions lenses.
Held out. Alfonso. Pennant. Be another six changes in a moment. It's quite a mega party. Here's a chance. And uh, well, shied away from goal, Jestrovic. And there's Jalmina. Good block by uh, Lalas. Vidigao back to Weber. The linesman says you're on side, allows him to get the cross in, and it's a corner for Figo's friends 11. It's a great control from Jermaine Pennant. Bristling with confidence after a, a troubled past 12 months. It's the long way round for Nena Jestrovic. Right, time for more changes. Told that uh, the McDonald 11 are going to make a change. Jalmin has had enough time, so Bobby Robson will be keeping well away from him. He doesn't like being substituted. Carlos Martins comes on. Jose Gomez from Rio Ave there as well. Luis Figo has, yes, gone for. Uh, a lot of the top stars in Europe, but also he's invited some of the up-and-coming young Portuguese talent who are on the verge of the, uh, the national team and playing at the smaller clubs to participate and uh, grow from the experience tonight. Ronald De Boer with a cross. From the Rangers man, has five championship medals from his time at Ajax and one from his days uh, with Barcelona, where his paths crossed with Sir Bobby Robson. Jeremy. Okay. <laughs> Jestrovic. They were contemplating bringing him off, but he uh, has made it clear he wants to score a goal tonight. Well, that's some picture to get a new mobile phone, isn't it, Ronaldo? It's maybe cruel and say you need a wide angle lens, but uh, he's looking fit and feisty tonight with his two goals. So we can cook up uh, a couple more in the remaining quarter of an hour or so of this pre-season charity game. Four more changes for the uh, Luis Figo 11. Xavier there, who I once met in a discotheque in Madrid. And he actually asked me how I knew it was him. Easily recognisable with the spiked peroxide blonde hair. One of the uh, national team at Euro 96, of course. Two men that have worked overtime tonight have been the fourth official, who I think now has made uh, 30 changes, and the poor old Tanay announcer in the stadium, who's... Uh, losing his voice as he informs the supporters of who's coming on and who's going off. It's like backstage at Live 8, the way they're shuffling them onto the stage and shuffling them off again. We've just had uh, about seven changes. I can tell you that uh, one significant one is Jermaine Pennant has been given a break, though uh, he's shown a lot of talent tonight. of surprise, improvisation. 
Hamidou. Shows his uh, tremendous talent. So great save. The defenders are really very much doubt that he knows the names of most of them as the, they've come from far and wide to play in this uh, wonderful festival of football. It's great for the youngsters outside the stadium collecting autographs. Mind you, you need an autograph book the size of a Bible to get everybody's name in it tonight. A weak pass, he's put himself in trouble here, and uh, well, Higgs went to Valdo, the Osasuna striker. to wall soccer and then uh, go a couple of weeks without it we miss it desperately these players have been chopping at the bit to get back and uh, get a game of football there should be some party tonight with I'm sure carrot juice and sparkling water being drunk in the players bar after the game it is in the party mood Abel Xavier Reuniting with a number of his uh, former teammates from the Portuguese national team. <laughs> Zinovic makes his move, but headed away by De Boer. Ronald De Boer. There's Nelson. Every uh, top Portuguese club is represented in this uh, Figo Foundation match tonight. It's the hot ticket, the hot invite to come and play in this game. He's done a great job to uh, squeeze the players away from their clubs as they prepare to come back for many of the final days of their summer vacation. Well, there's a break from the conditioning of their coaches. So Nelson chances his luck again. And then we saw there the number 27 is Niko Krancar. He's a Croatian international, only 20 years of age, said to be the uh, hottest player to come out of Croatia. About a decade. Some of a famous father is. Uh, you see uh, another attempt flown in by the, uh, the Figo. They haven't they spotted the goalkeepers off the line? <laughs> okay, you have the shot was Fabio Felicio. Number 72. He uh, wasn't on the original list. It's going up into bingo numbers now. So Bobby has decided he's going to make more changes. Uh, famously, rarely knew the names of his players and be stretching even the great man tonight to remember who's who. Kind of done it by telephone numbers. Nelson's cross. And, uh, Good block to stop for uh, Adriano, the uh, young Brazilian. <laughs> Looks like he's been working on his town in the Algarve. Ronald de Boer enjoyed the experience. And Pedro Pinheiro will come on for uh, 10 minutes. Are you seeing with that his twin brother Frank? Yeah. The 
local ambassador for the sport. Alderbaugh always has time for the fans and for the media. Alicia squares the ball. It's a great tackle by Helder. A short spell at Newcastle United. First caught the eye of uh, Sir Bobby Robson when he was managing Porto, and Helder was uh, an up and coming young player in the Portuguese first division. And playing at Paris Saint Germain, had a very successful spell as well with Deportivo La Coruña in Spain. He's got a sweat on Milenko Asimovic, the former Tottenham man, who is uh, the latest player to be uh, given a break. And he is replaced by David. The lady on the left is Katio Sequera, who is going to get a few minutes of uh, field time. She's the lucky lady who won the competition to play in this game with uh, the mobile phone company who've been the official sponsors. Fans growing restless. They've got bored of the Mexican wave. They want a goal. And the Donald House 11 have a corner kick. You can see the commitment of Jeremy there. Premiership winner with Chelsea last year. Didn't want to concede the corner. Let's see Lannis, the American, heads the ball away. Webber of Cameroon. The corner. They seem to be trying to step up the pace for the final five minutes or so. It's Ferreira. Zizas. Just run out of space. Kind of him to jump over the thousands of pounds of the camera equipment behind the goal line. Well, we do. Very happy goalkeeper. It's nice to come on and not concede a goal. Doesn't quite be in the goals feast we uh, possibly anticipated. Johnson squares the ball. And, uh, blanket defending from Figo's 11. And can we squeeze one more goal out of the game? Jose moves through the gears, but uh, blocked by Martins. <laughs> Dimas. friend of Figo, invited along to play tonight. <laughs> Five minutes remain, and the players will head off to the, uh, the hotels in the uh, complimentary buses, and there's a Extravaganza planned afterwards for the uh, players' families and friends. A charity auction as well, all aiming to boost the funds for Figo's uh, project of hope. And I'm sure they've got more than the foundations laid now for the uh, McDonald House next to the major hospital in Lisbon. The annex for 
families of children with uh, serious illnesses. Hopefully they've raised enough money tonight to uh, start the building. It will be the uh, first one in Portugal. There have uh, been one of the McDonald houses in 25 different countries so far. Side trap didn't work. Felicio puts in the cross and João Ricardo <laughs> looks like a happy man. I think he's clearly enjoying the experience of uh, sharing a field with some of Europe's, indeed the world's top players. Ronaldo lost out of possession. Nelson. Tried everything to score a goal. <laughs> he's got the final party trick. Ricardo, the goalkeeper, squares the ball and he's touched it with his hand so far. It's going to be the young ladies at big moment in a moment. Katio Sequeira, number 99. We're talking telephone numbers, she won uh, a national competition in Portugal to take part in this game tonight. And she's going to have a couple of minutes. She's never, ever going to forget. Do you want to be replaced by her? Not too many of the players down there. Next break of play, she'll come on. Here's Fascia. again it's an exhibition of keep ball at the moment Lelas the man who's been a great ambassador for the sport he's uh, helped build projects in uh, North America in Los Angeles and in New York as Jeremy a poor shot Hammy do still the young lady waits to come on for a big moment very patiently on the touchline and the referee, I think, uh, wisely there gives a free kick and gives the opportunity for uh, Katia Thakera to uh, come on, calling number 99. Shake of the hand with Paolo Adriano, who, uh, in a gentlemanly manner, agrees to uh, give up his place for the final few seconds of this game. The applause is second only to Luis Figos. Well, she may have won the competition, but she's a fair footballer as well, clearly. And a fine uh, summer for women's football with the European Championships held in England. They've taken the standards to a whole new level. It wasn't really about the, uh, the quality of football tonight, it's all about raising money for some fantastic organisations and uh, children's charities. It's been played in the great sportsman's like, or should I say, say uh, sportswoman's like uh, fashion tonight. An opportunity for some of the players to uh, knock off the rust after the summer of solitude. And uh, it will all uh, seem to fizzle away when the various season start and then of course the World Cup finals in the 11 months time it's gonna be a long old year here's Weddell well taken by Paris Saint-Germain and what the Newcastle man held up if we just hold in the whistle to see if he can eke out another goal even things up two on the score 
Chesterovic for the record. And Ronaldo of Real Madrid with two first half goals. Their friends at college will never believe her when Katia tells them that she's played on the same field as Figo and Ronaldo. What a wonderful night in aid of some fantastic charities comes to an end. Luis Figo aiming to top last year's quarter of a million euros for the Hope Project and the Ronald McDonald House that they're building in uh, Lisbon, adjacent to the major hospital in the Portuguese capital. Fans have enjoyed it. I hope that you've enjoyed it. For the record, the score was 2-1. For the record, they've raised an awful lot of money for some deserving charities. Thank you very much for your time in the now annual Luis Figo Festival of Football from the Parque da Sede in the Algarve.